Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning here today. I am tired as all hell. I'm in a daze right now. I'm like, yo, I want to go to bed. I'm tired. No, oh, that bed's looking so good right now. <laughs> I want to go to fucking bed. No, but I gotta do bleach. I gotta do. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Bleach! Chapter 654, that is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 of Bleach. Now, if you have not seen the live reaction to the chapter in this corner right here, as well as an annotation in the box below. Now, this week's chapter of Bleach, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, with some sugar and spice on top. First of all, all right, let's start with the story progression. Here's the thing. The main thing here, honestly, is we're moving on to the... It appears to be Renji and Byakuya. I don't know where Shinji is. I don't know where Hinamri is. Maybe they moved on. But it appears to be Byakuya and Renji versus the Miracle, which I'm okay with because I want to see Byakuya and his new abilities. Or well, refined abilities. He doesn't have, like, new new stuff, but he's refined his Zanpak toe. And... I want to see what he can do against the Miracle, but more so I want to see the Miracle, because the Miracle among uh, we then, he is the one I've been looking forward to the most. I keep on saying it because it's the truth. He is the one I want to see fight the most. Knock Levar, cool guy, Pernina was interesting, Baro started off fantastic and is now a clusterfuck of what the fuck. And you have the Miracle. And I'm like, please, yeah, the miracle. Like, that's my boy. That's my boy. So, I do want to see Hashball go all out. And I do want to see Uryu fight as well. But, right now, folks on the miracle. So, that battle's been set up, obviously. The previous fight's done. But Bar himself's not defeated. Which is fascinating. Because, I like calling it the God Slayer Zanpakuto. But I understand that it's more like the God Divider Zanpakuto, where the power of a deity is divided into. It's supposed to be like eight pieces, but it wanted to be. It winds up being like a whole mess of borrow chickens walking around Soul Society and creating all this chaos and whatnot. I mean, I mean, the whole thing here is borrowing dead, and this gives it gives some spotlight to some of the characters that are still in the bottom area. Like Aizen, like Kira, who was back, which was a shock in many ways, because I forgot he was dead. But no, he's back. The Prince of Emo is back, but this time, he's in angry mode. He Like, he became Ashra without, <laughs> without the additional four arms. And he's rocking... Well, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same Kira. He's using his Zanpak toe to increase weight, and he's taking out these chickens, and that's really it. But is Kubo going to focus on that? No. Hell no. You know why? Because he's setting up Byakuya and Renji against the Miracle. That's why. Like, how annoying would it be where we're trying to enjoy the Miracle do his thing, we're looking forward to seeing what... Byakuya Kuchiki has to deliver, and we're going back and forth between that and Kira. Like, no, it's, that's not going to happen, no way in hell. So, I think more so it's just like a way of letting us know that there's still stuff going on in the lower levels. And then now it's, you know, borrowed chicken running, uh, chickens running around. So, anybody that's like left there in that area, um, what's that one guy's name? Holy crap. Um, the vice captain of... The dog dude, all right? Whatever his name was. Um, I forgot his name. I know it begins with the I. Uh, he could still do some shit. Maybe. Who knows? Um, and, and actually, now I think about it. Since Kira's alive, that must mean that Hisagi's alive. And I say that because Kira got absolutely decimated, okay? He got wrecked by Basby. And you have... What appears to be very shoddy patchwork. There's no way Myri was... No, no, there's no way in hell. Like, I, I don't know how Kira's alive. But if Myri was the one that... Let's say that, you know, Kira, he was on the verge of death and Myri saved him. 
Mari would have done a better job than simply put some weird, like, sticks in it. it, it they, they, they look like sticks, like bamboo shoots where the wound is. So he can keep his arm up and swing. Like, like that's what it looks like. It's very shoddy work. So, my guess is that people thought that he died. And since Unahana was facing off against Kenpachi, I guess there was no one to to take care of him. I, I don't know. You know what? Now I think about it, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Because even if Unahana wasn't there, what's her face was there? The big chick, all right? She was there, okay? And, 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 and when I say big, I mean tall, all right? Like, if I was in Bleach, would I fuck her? Yeah, I'd fuck her. But different topic, all right? Different story. Whole thing here is that she's there. She's big old titty. God damn it, man. I'm, it's so late. I'm so tired. No. But I don't care. One cake wonder mode. Fuck it. It is what it is. It's on the web. I don't care. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the goddamn thing. Even if Unahana wasn't there, she, the vice captain, should still be able to, like, heal Kira. They, they must have taken Kira's... At the time, they may have thought that he was, you know, a body. So what? Like, even if he was a body, did they... Take him somewhere and like leave him there and not try and like treat the wound. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, did Kira get sh like he got decimated by Basby, his squad was wrecked, but no one came to like see if it, to, to see what happened to the third division because Kira is their practically like their leader. They have no ca oh no, they have a captain, right? They do have a captain, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rose, but, but, but Rose is shitty. What happened? Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know, nigga. I don't know. Oh, my God. But that story progression in a nutshell, all right? Kira, Baro, and then the setup for the next fight. So at the conclusion of the current fight, of, the, of you know, the, the the previous fight, Kira, introduction, seeing Aizen, which to me, I'm like, bro, just, just set him loose, all right? Like, you, you know Kubo is, is dick teasing. Every time we see Aizen on the chair... It is another dick tease for Eisen fans, for Bleach fans in general, all right? Even if you hate Eisen, you want to see him back, all right? That, come on. Even if you hate Eisen, you still want to see Eisen do something. At the very least, sitting on the chair like, oh, I wonder what Kyoaku is doing. Like, no, 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 you don't wonder. You want to go up there yourself and create all havoc and chaos. That's what you want to do, Eisen. Don't bullshit me. Don't fucking bullshit me. So, set him free. Set him loose. And now, fuck it now. Kyoaku is out of the picture, obviously. And by association, the now is as well. Though that, you know, the God Divider Sword, Zanpakuto, that's not out of the picture because that thing's too OP. And the dialogue with Baro, because that's where most of the dialogue is in the chapter. Baro. You know, how he is, like, 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 basically he's pissed off that he's no longer a god. Because he lost his halo. And he wants to now take revenge upon all these fodder in the name of, that's the only way that he can get any, uh, you know, uh, compensation for his defeat. Whatever. Uh, pointless. The whole thing is pointless. Basically, Kira versus Bar off screen, because right now we have the Miracle versus uh, Renji and Byakia. That's it. So the chapter overall, I thought it was... Overall, it's an okay plus to good chapter. It really is, right? Like, it has its ups. And the borrow thing, I can say, is more of a down than an up. But it has ups as well. It does. And I don't want to get too deep into it because there really is no need to. Because most of that stuff is going to be off screen. I guarantee you. Fucking guarantee you. Either that or it's going to be like one chapter and that's going to be it. Honestly. That's not going to be a focus point. At this point in time. Now with the miracle... Race off against Byaki Akuchiki and Ranji. There's no way in hell. And the whole Asna and Grimjow thing and Ichigo, what's going on there? Who knows, really? I mean, at this point in time, we can assume that Ichigo's beating uh, Naklevar, but at the same time, did I say Asna? Uh, I think, yeah, I think I meant Naklevar. Uh, whatever, whatever. All right, I'm tired of me fucking alone. Shit. Whole thing here is that I want to see Grimjow back in action. But when you have Naklevar say, oh, yeah, like, I'd be Grimjow. No, 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 I ain't buying that shit for a second. So let's get him back in form. So the chapter overall is an okay plus chapter, and I'm done. Rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice goddamn day.